Y'all yeah. forgot us that, you know, he you you suffered good things while he suffered straight things. Yeah. You know? He you was in pleasure while he was in, you know, torment. Torment. Well, well hey. And then it talks about the uh, the dogs lifting licking his uh, his sores. Yep. So y'all was all good like that, man. Yep. So now you don't you really don't want that to happen to where the Lord's gonna you know uh, flip flip the script. Well, we're gonna be brought into uh, Abraham's bosom, and you gonna suffer the torment. That's what you don't want. Go ahead. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore flesh. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. Let's talk about Yahweh Shai right here. This day have I begotten thee. Ask the beast, and I shall give thee, thee the heathen, for thine inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. The most high is saying to David, it's hurting Yahweh Shai. All he got to do is ask. I'll get these heathen right over to you. Possess them, you know. Hey. You, you, can, you can do what you want with them. That's another cut that the earth is going to abide forever. Huh. You're going to give the, you know, you say the other most parts of the earth. The earth's not going to go nowhere if Yahweh Shai. He's going to give Yahweh Shai the heathens for, for inheritance. Yeah. It says that if you read Psalm 77, the dominion shall be from sea to sea. Mm -hmm. Right here over there. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Going into uh, what the brother uh, got in uh, Micah the fourth chapter. I'll break you up, man. You're going to get broken up. And the Lord's going, he's he, he going to fix you, man. He's going to break you up and then he's going to fix you, man. Go ahead. Verse 10, be wise now, therefore, O, o ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with tremble. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. So in other words, the most I say, you better reverence him, you better worship him, or he gonna, he, he gonna be angry. Did not the Lord tell his uh, disciples, uh, uh, bring, bring in here the those that will not uh, have me to reign over them. Bring here there to slay them before me. And uh, you, you better kiss him. Jeez. And, and, and uh, Sakari, you you going to worship him. That, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, the Lord's going, he going to fix you up too. He going to fix you up and then you going to get it right. And you going to worship too, man. And yeah, you're gonna have your position because y'all are Israelites. Alright? That, that right there was just another another cut right there. Now come back to that in uh, Micah 4. Back to Micah 4, verse 12. But they know not the thoughts of the Lord, neither understand they his counsel. For he shall gather them as the sheep into the flock. Arise and fresh, O daughter of Zion. Arise and fresh. What is what is what is it what does it mean to thresh? It's, it's basically a, a, a term in agriculture. Like a sickle, you you, you, you separate them. Yeah. And then the ones that uh, that are good, you're gonna keep. And then the others, you just gonna, you know, you're gonna grind it up, man. Yeah. You're gonna dispose of it. Go ahead. Rush and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy horn iron, and I will make them horns brass, and thou shalt beat in, in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gang unto the Lord, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. Now, and that coincides with what the brother read earlier in Revelation. How the, 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 the Gentiles are going to bring their horses into the gates. Yep. And remember, like going back to when King David, when he when he uh, went to war with these nations, and he put them in servitude and made mm. them uh, tributaries. Put garrisons. 
he put garrisons yeah. in their neighborhoods, and he also they was bringing in uh, 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 gifts. Yeah, they was bringing you know offerings. It, it was bringing resources it, into, into the land. It was, and you read it, it sounded like they were all, all, almost, they were happy to do it. Huh. It wasn't like, you know, it was like, oh, okay, I got to give my, like, they were like, here, here, huh. you know? Huh. That was an example. All right? He, cons he, he consecrated their game to the temple. That's why by the time King Solomon came into, into power, okay, he was the most richest king on earth. Yeah, yeah. Ever. They like to show, throw Ma Massa Musa. Yeah, Massa like, Musa no. didn't have no. a bump compared to King yeah, Solomon. Gone. You know? But that's, they always try to discredit our, our Lord, man. Huh. Jake like to say that, that grown man strength. <laughs> what they had that y'all watching y'all shy strength. Huh. We'll have that angel, angel strength. Even when we were talking about Samson and pulling down two pillars, oh, Jake can't yeah. do that shit today, man. Yeah, yeah, pop your fucking shoulders out. They're trying to pull something. They're trying to pull something. Girl, you're pumped out, bro. You know it. Those pillars ain't going nowhere. And, like, and the pillars in the ancient world, too. Not yeah, this. Right. Not this uh this shit made with a uh, plaster and yeah no nah, we that was one complete story man. Um, yeah, yeah. Marvel, you know <laughs> but hey it's gonna be strength uh, over that man you know it's gonna be strength over Samson you know he that is feeble among me fuck he that is feeble feeble among them at that day shall be as David and the house of David shall be as God and the angel of the Lord before them. You're going to be as an angel. I Meaning you have the, the strength and power of an angel. And of course, with that kind of power, you're going to run through 30,000 motherfuckers, man. <laughs> you're going to be able to, that's going to be easy work for you, man. Like, uh, you always get to that bright burn, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Brother, 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 bright burn. Bright burn. Yeah, go Bright watch burn. watch that movie, man. Bright burn. You know, it's basically a uh, kid. It's basically, it's uh, it's power, man. You know, you know, it goes into like sci-fi stuff, but if you understand that, that the uh, electric's gonna have that power, man, because he started uh, having vengeance uh, for the same ones that basically looked down upon him, putting in, put in the short. It was like it was. They were trying to. It was like a bad uh, Superman. Yeah, kind and Superman of. was. You know, they say like they say on the left hand, but he probably was actually on the right hand. Yeah, kind of. Like, like, you want to take over the whole world. Kind of. Yeah. Like uh, this, this kid, where the power was resting inside this this child, man. He was probably around the age of what, 12, 13? Yeah. You know, and he, he was, uh, he broke down, he was flying. He had a, what you call it? Like, a like, uh, Superman, he could shoot lasers and shit. Yeah. Out his eyes, threw down flames from the sky. Hey, when the cops came to the house, <laughs> Disintegrated, man. He's unstoppable. He's unstoppable. Yeah. He's unstoppable. I got uh, I got this in Isaiah 37. Uh, the power of one angel, man. This is how the angel is down. Isaiah 37 and 36. Then the angel of the Lord.
more and more and smoke in the camp of the Assyrians, a hundred and four score and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. Wow. One angel. That's what he did. That was easy work. He, he probably couldn't wait to, to, to handle that. <laughs> he said, both sides, let me handle that. Bubba Kushaw, let me handle that. I'll move. You know? Both sides were like, yeah, go handle that. He took all of them Syrians out. And you Yahweh Shai, he's, he's the captain of the host. He told Pilate, I can call 12 leaders of angels to come down. If my kingdom was of this world, I, then my service was right. Twelve, it was like, and it was like between like eight and twelve, something like that. That's like over eight thousand men. So that's so. So that's why that type, that level of power is what's going to take to take Esau down. We can't go and take Esau down the way these these dumb niggas talking about. You know, <laughs> we, we believe in our gun rights and you know. They quote uh, uh, Luke 21, oh, get, uh, get two swords. Two swords. You know? Yeah. Jake don't know what the hell, they, the Sakari, they, they, they thought that they was going to get with the Romans, and Israel ended up getting slaughtered, man. Yeah, you know, Jake like to boast in that carnal, carnal weapons and shit. Oh, well, I got, I got enough, you, I got enough bullets, I got enough guns for the whole city and shit like that. Well, nigga, take one bullet to kill you. You know what I mean? Like, you, you ain't, hey, Esau is destroying over here in the Middle East without lifting a finger, man. He's doing it from, from, a, from a BS2 controller, man. Yeah. What, what, what does Jake and the hood have to fight against? We seen on the, what was that, the first purge? And they tried to go into that the yeah. project group? Yeah. And Esau laid their ass out with a drone, man. Yeah. Killed all of them except one of them, man. Hey, you know, uh, you know it's going to be a nigga somewhere trying to put a, 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 a nine on a drone or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck around and shoot himself or his, his mama or something. Ignorant ass niggas, man. That's not gonna work, man. That's Esau's power, man. You leave that to Esau. He he got that master. That's his blessing. We're princes of the power, man. We 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 dealing with power from on high. Okay. You know? We're we're re, we're reading about it, man. Okay? Like stubble. Yeah, like stubble. Yeah. Basic, like it's, the instructions on the spoils of war. Huh? Like instructions on the spoils of war. Huh. This is uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 19. It says, When thou shalt besiege the city a long time and make you war against it to take it, thou shalt not destroy it. Yeah, this is Deuteronomy 20 and 10. Thou comest nigh unto the city to fight against it, 